Hello everyone and welcome back into today's video. I will show you an amazing AI tool that has really improved the quality of my renders and helped me with my workflow for the past few months. The tool I'm referring to is of course ProAI, the sponsor of this video by the way. ProAI is a cutting edge AI platform to build and bring your creations to life. It's capable of transforming roughly sketches into breathtaking visuals, generating floor plans and maintaining design consistencies across various projects. Plus, it gives you the flexibility to add your unique style to every render you create. First, let's head over to Brom AI and take a quick tour. On the homepage, you will find your recently used tools alongside with recommendations for your tools you might want to explore based on your interests. At the top there is a menu where you can browse all the AI tools and check for categories for inspiration like architecture or interior design. Over on the left there are even more options, but for now we are just going to focus on exploring all the AI tools. The first tool I want to highlight is the sketch rendering. Don't worry if it seems overwhelming at first. ProAI's layout is designed to stay consistent across all the tools, making it easy to navigate wherever you open a tool. You will always find the three main tabs, this cover and remix, generation and history, and assets. Let's break it down. This cover and remix is a standout feature on its own. ProAI has an amazing community where users can share their AI creations. The remix options allow you to replicate the settings of someone that already used on their creation. Things like style, base image, or even the prompt they used. Generation and history keeps track of the generations you already have created and assets is where you can save those creations and that are stored and easy to access. The simple structure makes it easy to dive into any tool without getting lost. Now that you are familiar with the layout, let's dive into the sketch rendering tool. This feature is a real game changer for artists and designers. With just a few clicks you can transform rough sketches or simple outlines into detailed and polished visuals. Whether you are creating concept art, designing projects, or working on architectural plans, this tool brings your ideas to life. After that, we can refine the prompt to guide the AI tool more efficiently in creating the desired design. For instance, a particular designer represents a tiny house set in a forest-like landscape. Let's include that in the prompt. Without bothering you with the details, but this is the prompt that I used. After that, we can select the render model from level 1 to level 3. Level 1 and 2 allow you to upload a reference image for lighting as custom styles. Uh, level 3, however, does not support this reference image or offers as many style options, but it generates a higher quality image. So in this case, I choose level 3 and select the photorealistic architecture style. For the scene, I picked the fila option as the best aligns with our concept. For the mode, I choose the precision concept and for creativity, I keep it at 55%. Now let's see what Prom AI comes up with. That looks really good. I especially like the first one. I think that one looks just the best to me. The next tool I would like to highlight is the AI image generator. This tool works similar with the sketch rendering, but it doesn't require a base image. Instead, we simply just use the prompt to describe what we want the AI to create. Like the sketch rendering tool, there are two levels available, each with a different settings. The main difference is that the V1 allows you to add a negative prompt, giving you more control of what to exclude in the image. To start, we add a prompt. Let's keep it simple and use the same one that we created earlier to see what Prom AI generates. If needed, we can enhance the prompt to give the AI a more context to improve the results. Let's do that for this example. I select the V2 and set the style to architectural photograph. Leave the perspective at none and use the default screen ratio, 9 to 16. For lighting, we will choose none or custom. Although there is a fast mode option, it reduces the quality. So we will skip it and lastly we will set the number of images to 3 and see what Pro AI creates. Pretty cool, huh? I especially like the last one I think the most because it's more the most realistic. 
The next tool I want to talk about is the Region Rendering tool, one of my personal favorites. Region Rendering in Chrome AI is a powerful feature designed to give you the full control over your creative process. Instead of rendering the entire scene, you can focus on specific areas, uh, making it faster and more efficient to refine interactive details. Let's take an example using an image from an old project. While I have always liked the render, I never was satisfied with the car in the foreground. So let's change that. We will start by adding our base image. To replace the car, we could use a sketch image and even add a prompt. But for this example, we will just the image. Testing has shown that the prompt doesn't add much to the outcome here. Next, we will choose the car image. In a similar position to the original car in the render, uh, then we will mask the car in the render and ensure the new car matches the same location and scale. Now we will set the mode to precise and generate three images. The results looks great. I particularly like this one. The method is excellent way to replace specific elements in a render quickly and efficiently. Next up is consistency rendering. This is a groundbreaking feature designed to projects that require uniformity across multiple renders. This is particularly useful for architectural visualizations, uh, product designs and storytelling where maintaining the cohesive look is critical. Probably one of the most powerful things that I have seen in an AI tool. With the consistency model you can add style references to set the base style of your design. For example, I will use a reference from my classic interior dining room. Next, we will add a prompt to guide the AI in understanding the style that we want to achieve. I will use a prompt that I created earlier with ChatGPT. Now, let's provide Prom AI with some suggestions to generate a dining room, a living room, and a bedroom. Once that's set, we can generate the designs. Afterwards, we will review the interiors, and I must say, I really like them. One great feature after using any tool is you have the option to publish your creations to the public. It's like a free marketplace where others can explore and use your styles and prompts. Let's publish this one and give it a name and a description. The final feature I want to highlight is the HD Upscale tool. This tool is designed to take your images to the next level. Enhancing them to a higher resolution nested pieces while preserving the quality. It's also incredibly simple to use. Let's start by selecting an image to upscale. One of the generated images that we used. For example, those wooden houses in the forest. Next, we will add a prompt to guard the enhancement. Let's use a wooden tiny house in a forest landscape. And tweak it slightly to refine the output with the enhance option. For the template we will use the natural and for the creativity settings we will just go with high. The high setting makes the necessary adjustments to the image and delivers the best results. As you can see the final result has way more detail and also a way higher resolution making it perfect when your client needs a higher resolution of your render. That's everything I wanted to share with you guys in this video about Prom AI. They offer much more but that's for some other videos in the future. What's exciting about this technology is how much it helps me as a 3D artist. It simplifies tasks like upscaling images or masking elements in a render, saving time and effort. A big thanks to Prom AI for sponsoring this video and giving me the opportunity to showcase the amazing AI tool. Be sure to check out the link in the description and the pinned comment to learn more about Prom AI and consider gifting it a try. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment and consider subscribing if you'd like to see more content like this. See you guys in the next one. Bye!